So I saw this demo for this new Chinese robot named G1 that is mind blowing. The company that made this robot is called Unitry. They just released a trailer for this robot and it's incredible. The G1 stands out for its flexibility, skill and overall capabilities. It's clear that this robot is a game changer so let's break this down why. The Unitry G1 resembles Boston Dynamics Atlas robot which of course they released their trailer a few weeks ago that kind of freaked everybody out. Uh, obviously Unitry has been around for a while but with this new robot, it just shows how quickly they're advancing and bringing impressive technology at an affordable price. The crazy part is that the G1 starts at just $16,000, which honestly is a bargain compared to other humanoid robots with similar features. I don't think Boston Dynamics or Tesla have revealed their pricing for their humanoid robots, but I guarantee you they're not $16,000. But as innovation continues and production scales up for this robot, the price of this advanced robot is definitely expected to drop even further, which means that in the near future, honestly, having a personal robot assistant could become a reality for many of us, uh, basically transforming the way we live and work. If they get this down to $10,000, I would imagine a lot of people would buy just for fun. So one major highlight is that G1's flexibility and range of motion, which is very, very impressive. It can twist and move in ways that are really crazy. And again, that's because of its multiple joint technology that I'll explain in a little bit. So this multiple joint technology allows for a really efficient movement and compact design, making the G1 really an important player in the robotics field. Another standout feature is its stability. So the G1 can take a hit and really stay stable, which is a crucial for real world situation where these personal robots might face wind, debris, or unexpected uh, impacts when it comes to uneven terrain or just like running around. They need to have the ability to be very stable. And um, again, this stability is something that most other humanoid robots struggle with. So the G1 is actually also very, very fast. It reaches speeds of up to 3.3 meters per second, which is really nearly a running speed for a normal human. This makes it even actually faster than a lot of the other humanoid robots, including the Tesla bot. Another really impressive feature is that G1's ability to learn tasks through simulation and then perform them in real world. So using imitation and reinforcement learning, the G1 can be trained in virtual environments and then apply those skills in reality. So this makes the advanced robotics research more accessible and affordable for labs and universities because they can run these learning in virtual environments rather than in a physical environment where you can imagine it will be very expensive and very limiting. Another feature is that the G1 also has really useful hands that can handle objects with really great precision. It can do things like crush a walnut, flip a bread, and open a can of soda with these. Okay, maybe not opening soda with ease yet because the way they showed it in a demo, it, nobody wants their soda open like that. But anyway, so moreover, the, the G1 features um, actually an AI system, which is called the Unitary Robot Unified Large Model, which allows it to perform tasks autonomously. So while details are still emerging about this particular model, but it seems that this model uh, will be trained on vast data set of both kind of simulated and real world interaction. But overall, the Unitary G1 is, in my opinion, really a game changer, especially if they can reduce the price point here. Just the combination of flexibility, stability, the dexterity, and again, the affordability really opens up new possibilities in the field of robotics. So I really can't wait to see what researchers and developers achieve with this platform when it starts shipping soon. Because again, based on what they're showing in this demo and based on their website, like this could be a really cool robot that's very again affordable for um, anybody if they could bring the price down a little further it's really exciting because because the robot race is really heating up and uh, unitry is now proving to be a major contender amongst other chinese robotics companies and then obviously the robotic companies in the u.s like boston dynamics tesla robots and other new ones that are coming in the picture the future looks a lot fun with these types of robots i'm hoping uh, that the price points gets to a point where basically anyone can afford these types of robots and these robots can actually do the basic tasks around the household where you can really utilize and take advantage of these new technologies. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.